हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल तो आज हम स्टार्ट करेंगे यू पी एस सी असटेंट प्लानिंग और असटेंट आर्किटेक्ट एग्ज़ाम की ये पहली वीडियो सो दिस पर्टिकुलर पेपर इज़ केम इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ डेप्टी आर्किटेक्ट अंडर द यू पी एस सी असटेंट आर्किटेक्ट एग्ज़ाम so this video will also help you in your gate exams and other state psc stand uh, exams for the same post so let's begin with the first question a safety nosing in a staircase is so let's understanding let's understand what is a nosing through a diagram so this is a tread this is the riser of staircase this is another tread and this is riser okay so i will just tell you the standard dimension so stand standard dimension of a tread is 300 mm and riser should be 150 mm okay so what is nosing so nosing is generally a part that is slightly out of the tread so it increases the width of the tread let's see a section so this is a tread okay so nosing is generally this part slightly outside the tread and it is generally flushed with the tread and sometime it may be you it may be made up of a uh, material that is very rough or give more friction so that the user cannot slip or yeah so user cannot slip off from that surface so this is the nosing so the correct answer of this question will be a non slip surface flush with the tread surface option number c next question is sumerian units of measurement were based on so the correct answer of this question is the option number d part of the human body so sumerian generally use uh, units like feet or palm to measure so that these feet and palms are the human body parts so the correct answer is option number d next question is which or one of the following statement is not fit for ambient luminescence in the context of interior lighting so what is a ambient lumin luminescence so it is generally a normal uh, night lamp which we generally used in a room so if properly pay, placed it it is shadowless and it reduces the importance of things and place yes this is also true because in a room you can see all of the elements or all of the things very clearly or there is no difference or uh, no one no one highlight thing or no other very dim light thing happens so this is also true so it fills people with a sense of freedom of space so it is also true so, so the correct answer of this question will be the option number b it maximizes the forms and bulks so it it does not do like this this particular is the feature of spotlight 
which used to spot a particular object suppose this is the light source and this is the object so this is how a uh, spotlight works question number 4 is which one of the following enhances the perception of depth by emphasizing the natural texture and sculptural relief of the surface so the correct answer of this question is the option number b grazing light so let's see how a grazing light works suppose this is the roof and this is the wall and wall with some texture or some sculpture placed in it and this is the floor so jo grazing light hota hai wo ek steep angle se is wall pe light देता है तो इसका जो टेक्सचर और स्कल्पचरल पार्ट है वो काफ़ी उभर के आता है सो so, अगर एंगल बहुत लेस है और वो स्लै सीलिंग पे माउंटेड है तो ये एक ग्रेजिंग लाइट हुआ दिस इज़ दी ग्रेजिंग लाइट एंड अगे ऑल्सो वी कैन वी विल सी दी डिफ्यूज लाइट so what is diffuse light diffuse light is let's see this is the this is the ceiling and this is the floor again this is a wall and in a wall there is a window okay so this is the window so when a light came from outside and struck a surface and then enter into the room then it is diffuse light it is diffusing from here to here okay so this is how our diffuse light works okay sparkle light is generally you see on the welding welding machines and contrast light is generally used in photography okay so we will skip the question number 5 because we are yet to get the correct answer of this question so let's move to the question number 6 Question number six is the art of inserting a part of one plant into another plant by exposing the actively growing tissue, so that they will unite and continue their growth as one plant is called. So the correct answer of this is the grafting. This question में पूछा है कि उस process को हमें पता बताना है जिसमें एक दो अलग अलग plant को हम एक दूसरे में insert करते हैं then they continuously grow together as a single plant so this is grafting stooling is a completely artificial completely artificial system of propagating plants in layers Question number seven is Albert Atterberg, a Swedish soil scientist, defined the boundaries between different consistency state for soil that are referred to as Atterberg limits. Of which, what comprises a plastic limit? So, plastic limit in an Atterberg limit is nothing but. So, generally, plastic limit में क्या होता है? प्लास्टिक लिमिट को हम लोअर प्लास्टिक लिमिट भी कहते हैं और इसमें जो सॉइल में जो वाटर कंटेंट होता है वो उसकी प्लास्टिक स्टेट से सेमी सॉलिड स्टेट में चेंज होता है सो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज 
ऑप्शन नंबर सी बाउंड्री बिटवीन द प्लास्टिक एंड सेमी सॉलिड स्टेट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एज फार बैक एस एटीन एटी सेवन द गैजिटियर ऑफ दिल्ली डिस्क्राइब दिल्ली डिस्ट्रिक्ट एज हैविंग फोर नेचुरल डिविजन्स विच आर स्टिल यूजफुल डिस्क्रिप्टिव लेवल फॉर दिल्ली माइक्रो हैबिटेंट्स ऑफ विच द संडी रिवर रेंज ऑफ द यमुना इज कॉल्ड तो इस क्वेश्चन में पूछा है कि जो एटीन एटी सेवन में दिल्ली का गैजिटियर निकला था तो उसमें यमुना रिवर का जो सॉइल है उसे किस टाइप के सॉइल से डिस्क्राइब किया था किस नाम से डिस्क्राइब किया था सो द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस इज द ऑप्शन नंबर ए खादर विच इज अनदर नेम ऑफ और लोकल नेम ऑफ एल्यूवेल सॉइल टाइप सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी द वर्ड गेजिटियर सो फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन the father of gazetteer of india is sir william wilson hunter okay question number 9 is solum is a term which describes one of the following element of landscape so what is a solum solum is the uppermost part of and this is this three top three layer is solum then upper most part is this is top soil and then below the top soil there is sub soil and this is r plant this is our plant okay so sol solum is generally related to the soil correct answer is option number a question number 10 is what is the maximum angle of repose for strong bedrock at which it can safely incline and beyond which it will fall so the correct answer of this question is 45 degree so that's it in that's it for the today's video in the next part we will see the next 10 to 20 questions of the same paper so if you haven't subscribed my channel so please subscribe मैं इसी तरीके से आर्किटेक्चर प्लानिंग और आर्किटेक्चरल असिस्टेंट प्लानिंग एग्ज़ाम्स की प्रीवियस ईयर के क्वेश्चन पे, पेपर्स को स्टडी करता हूँ और आपको बताता हूँ सो अंटिल देन गुड बाय सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो